detective. What? No, just stay where you are. I'll be over as fast as I can. When duty calls. This is my city. These are my streets. If you mess with Nacogdoches, you're messing with me. And no one messes with me. No one. You had better compete to have. Come in. Ma'am, I received your phone call. I know, thank God you're here. Oh my gosh. So what happened? My friends and I, we were in Midtown and we were walking on the street. We've been shopping all day. And then there was like this really weird old guy. He had on like this big trench coat. And he sold me this. It was a copy of The Rise of the Robots, Divida. But then when I came home and put it in my Divida machine, it like, it wouldn't play. Now it won't even turn on. You mean DVD player? That's what I said. Let me see it, man. Here's the problem. It's a bootleg copy of the Rise of the Robots. Yeah, but can you fix the Dividend machine? No, ma'am. But I can fix the person who did this to you. Good. I want him prosecuted to the fullest intent of the law. Do you mean assent? Yeah, that's what I said. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm gonna take this bootleg copy of the Rise of the Robots with me as evidence. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. After I'm done eating this donut, I'm going to find one of my informants. He goes by the name Styx. in the fuzz. Sticks, I need some information. Well, Sticks is always willing to help 5-0. Word of the street, there's some bootleg DVDs uh, out there. You got any intel on it? Ah, uh, no. I don't really deal with any of that. You wouldn't be out here if you did. Now you owe me. I need you to go out there and shake some trees. Get me a name. I mean, make some calls, drop some dimes. Surely somebody knows somebody. Go on. Soon. Got it connected. While Styx is getting me a name, I'm going to pound the streets for information. My first stop, Smiles in the Brain. Smiles, Brain. You don't have any bootleg copies of the Rise of Robots, do you? No, sir, it did. No, but you might want to go check the pool hard. I believe some students may have it there. All right, you two stay out of trouble. Yes, sir, officer did. We're going to have some fun tonight. This is going to be a great film, Smiles. <laughs> <laughs> Leather jacket, aviators. All right, give it to me. It's a bootleg copy of The Rise of the Robots. You do realize that DVD players are being destroyed right now. I didn't know. I'm taking this as evidence. Don't let me catch you with another one of these. No problem. I've got my eye on you. Street slick, as you know about these bootleg DVDs. I don't know about no bootleg DVDs. There's two ways out here: easy way and a hard way. 
Which way is it gonna be? I'll take the easy way. Maybe you ought to talk to uh, Johnny Longfinger? Smoke is bad for your health. Get out of here while you still can. Once Slick gave up Johnny Longfinger, I knew that I would be close. So close I could taste it in the air like a donut. All right, Johnny Longfinger, Slick gave you up. Tell me about these bootleg DVDs. Johnny Longfinger ain't no snitch, copper. Listen to me. Kids right now are having their DVD players explode by these bootleg DVDs. You're gonna tell me what I wanna know, and you're gonna tell me now. Like I said, Johnny Longfingers ain't no snitch, copper. But you may want to check North Street for Hipster Pete. Hipster Pete, North Street. All right. I got my eye on you. After getting information from the two suspects, I now have a name and address. It's not the first time I had a fist pointed at me. It's not even the first time today. Shut up. You come bust into my crib like this. You're in a lot of trouble, buddy. I'm a cop. What's up with that, donut eater? How am I supposed to know? You're five of them. Yeah, that fuzz on your face makes you look like a cop. So, uh, what's in the boxes over there? Nothing. You wouldn't have any uh, illegal bootleg DVDs, would you? <laughs> you got a warrant. When I get a warrant as fast as I can, you don't need one. All right, stay right there. I got my eye on you. So, you don't deal in bootleg DVDs, do you? These are pretty bootleg to me. You know, I've been a beat cop for the last 20 years, and I've seen a lot of horrible things. But this makes my stomach sick. I can't believe you would give this to a young person. They would put this in their prize DVD player and break it? What kind of monster are you? I got one question for you. Why? The rise of the robots has so much stroll, man. There's nobody can make them like that. It, it's one of the best films that's out there. I mean, how, how can I make any money? It's, it's the greatest film. It's the Beatles of the films. Didn't your mom ever tell you that life's not fair? No. You're under arrest. You come in with me. Go downtown. No more bootlegger off the street. Come on. Get out of here. Once again, the streets of Nacogdoches are safe from bootleg copies of The Rise of the Robots. Now families can enjoy watching the greatest sci-fi film ever made in East Texas without fear of the DVDs breaking their computer, DVD player, or television. The world is safe again. However, if the bad guys come out again, I'll be there. When there's crime, I'm the shadow that drops down. Compute that. Hello, if you'd like to see the amazing film talked about in this short film, The Rise of the Robots, go to www.therobotfilm.com to watch this amazing film on DVD or video on demand because this film does compute in any decade. So compute that, everybody. Yeah.